Hi guys, welcome to this video on Node Express MongoDB crash course. And in this part, I will be talking about how we can change our password after login. So it is quite different than reset password that I explained in the last video. So change password is done after the login through account or profile page. And we provide the current password and also the new password for changing the password. But reset password is done on the login page when we forget our password okay so i'm going to create another route in my auth controller uh, file so just like the reset password i'm going to create a change password function over here so i'll be writing exports change password and uh, i'll be using the async await inside it and then i'll be writing the request response next and for now I'll just be writing next okay so let's now create its route in our users route file and I'm going to import the change password function inside it and also I'll be creating a new route so users route dot patch change password I don't need to pass the token and this is the change password have been added okay and one other thing that change password is done when user is authenticated means user is login so i've already created a function which is uh, as you know that i created over here and uh, this function is to protect our route this one protect data okay so i will be adding this protect data over here and i'll be importing it from here so protect data and this will make sure that first we will verify that user is actually logged in with given and correct credentials and if the user is properly logged in then we will allow it to change the password if user is not logged in then we will not allow it to change the password okay so now we are done with creating our route in our users route file and let's go to the auth controller and uh, pretty much everything we are going to be writing in this function so first of all i need to get the values of uh, the body that we will be sending from client side which is the postman currently so let's first try to fetch the user so i'm going to write the await user dot find by id and then the user id will be getting from the user dot underscore id and uh, then we also need to get the password and this password we are actually getting in order to check if the password the current password which is being sent from the client side is actually equal to the password which is already stored in the database for this particular user which we, we are getting from this id okay so just to recap that this particular user id actually i'm getting from the protected data route if i go up and this is the protected data route and if you remember that at the end of it i actually store the user in the request dot user object it means that any route controller which have a middleware protected data and this particular route is going to have the user object already because we are logged in with the protected data middleware okay so now let's go down and this will be the user that we are actually receiving and i need to explicitly get the password now we need to verify if the current password which is sent from the client and this password of the user which is stored in the database are actually equal or not but stored password is in uh, encrypted form and this password will be in the string form which is coming from the client side so i've already used this compare function above this one and i can actually copy this one this function and below i can use this function to actually verify the password and the first password is equals to the password which is coming from the client side so i can write a request dot body dot current password okay and then i'm comparing it with the user dot password after this i can actually verify if it is verified and uh, i can verify the user as well as the verified all together okay and uh, inside it i can write response dot status 400 and then dot json 
and then I can write the status and the message and the message I can write is something user not found or invalid current password. All right. So this is what I have verified after this once the user is found and the password current password and the password in the database for this particular user is actually equal the user which is logged in then we will proceed further and store the password fields in the database so I will be writing user dot password equals to request dot body dot password and this password is coming from the client side and then I can write user dot password confirm equals to request dot body dot password confirm so overall from the client side we will be passing three fields one is the current password the password and the password confirm okay after this we can actually save the user await user save and uh, then we will need to return the token to the client whoever is accessing it so my extension is actually suggesting me and this is pretty much everything that I need to write inside it and uh, after this I can return the response dot status let me okay so response status 200 JSON ID and equals to JSON web token all right so I think we are done with this function for changing the password after user is logged in and we are done with creating our route. Let's check out and run our project and see if our controller is working fine for changing the password. So if I go to my MongoDB, I actually deleted all the users because those user email IDs were using the fake email client as I showed you in the last video. So I'll be creating a new user from scratch. Okay, so the DB connection have been successful. Let's go to the postman and here I'll be creating a new user and here you can see that I'm creating a new user with the password. Hello world. Okay. And then I'm actually using it admin at mail.com. So let's send and it should create a new user. This user needs to be created in the database. Let's refresh and verify if that particular user with the email ID admin admin at mail.com should be created over here and you can see this has been created so now let's go ahead and I will be logging in with the same credentials so admin at mail.com and the password is the hello world so I'll be just sending this and we are actually done with logging so currently our user is authenticated with this particular auth token okay so now uh, I have already created this for uh, forget password reset password and I need to create another duplicate it let's click it and I'm going to change its name from reset password to the change password okay and uh, it should be patch and uh, this is the reset password I don't need to pass the token so I'll just be adding the change password over here and I also need to pass this auth token which is used to create the user for login authorization no auth bearer token and here I'll be pasting this new auth token let's save it and also in the body I'll be passing three fields one is the password other is the password confirm and above this I'll be adding the current password which I am using in my controller okay so here I'll be writing hello world so before actually I click on the send button, let's verify the current password. You can see that it is ending with N O W two. If the password is changed successfully and encrypted as well, it means that uh, it will be updated over here in the database and over API is working fine. So let's click send and let's wait for it. So success and the JWT token is returned and let's go ahead and the new password should be different than this. And if I refresh, and you will see that this will be updated over here all right so our password is encrypted but a new value is added in here and uh, the password changed date have been updated as well now if i try to log in with the old password as you know i've already changed the password to hello world one two three from here actually three to one 
So let's try to log in with the old password. So if I hit send and it is throwing an error that invalid password. So we are actually change the password. Now, if I go here and add the new password, which I've updated in the database, hello world three to one and hit send. And you can see that we are actually login with the new password. All right. So our API for changing the password is working fine. And this is awesome. So we are actually pretty much done with the authentication routes and the APIs and the controllers. We are done with the login, sign up, reset password, forget password, change password. What else we can do? We can uh, update the user's profile. Let's say user wants to update his email or the name, which is the public field currently in the user model. And uh, let's go ahead and in the next video, I'll talk about how we can update the profile for the user once user is logged in. Okay. If you're liking my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, spending a lot of time creating these videos. So go ahead, subscribe my channel and bell icon if you get notification for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching guys.